Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today, I'm gonna show you how to mix fuller sounding vocals. I mean, vocals that sound fuller, vocals that sound wide, and vocals that sound so warm that when you listen to those vocals, they don't sound harsh at all. Now, the secret that I wanna show you guys is the reverb and delay trick. I realized that a lot of Grammy award winning producers use a lot of reverb and a lot of delay just to get that fuller sound and when i started applying this it really literally changed the way my mixes sound the sounds sound fuller the vocals sound warmed up they sound wide they sound just fuller they sound good and this is what i want you guys to check out now i've got this vocal and of course when it is soloed there is a lot of reverb and a lot of delay but when it is in the mix that's what they do when it is in the mix the vocals don't really sound as if they've got a lot of reverb and a lot of delay like for example uh this soloed vocal sounds like this god will change your god will change your story of course, it sounds like it has a lot of reverb, a lot of delay, but when you check out Grammy Award winning producers, when you check out their mixes and whenever they are do soloing their mixes and they're playing just vocals, you will discover that there is a lot of delay and a lot of reverb. But when they put everything together in the mix, everything just sounds fuller remember what you want to get is not the reverb to be sounding more in your mix what you want to get is too much reverb and at the same time controlled in the mix you want to control the reverb but you still have that reverb one of the things you should do to your reverb is make sure you throw in an eq so that you remove this low part whenever you do this your reverb is gonna sound fuller your reverb is gonna sound good so basically this is what i do and make sure you don't cut too much of the reverb you don't remove the low because what you want to get is a fuller and wider sound so just cut a little for example i just cut just a little uh, my frequency is 51 so right there is i just want to remove a little uh, just a little here why because i want to have that grammy award winning vocal type that's what i'm aiming for that's what i want the second thing that they, they you do is put delay don't add an eq to your delay your delay has to be like that a delay is gonna accompany your vocals like it's more like a doubler effect and most of doubler plugins are built according to the way the delays work they literally like work the same they, they have that delay effect so add in a delay you might be saying but how can i control the reverb how can the reverb uh be not too much this is where sending coming you have to create fx channels fx tracks so that you put your sense from there what sense do uh let me let me open up these are sends sends allow you to uh put the reverb according to the way you want you you want the reverb to be let's say you want a little less reverb just reduce it if you want more you can increase it and also if you want more edge delay you can increase if you don't want more edge delay you can reduce it now the trick is here this side when you open up your reverb you can add as much weight as you want uh, look at the weight i've taken it all the way to uh, 0 0.58 i can also take it as much as to uh, 0 0.30 or uh, 44 somewhere there now you might say it's too much i can also just increase the uh, room size as well and then pre-delay uh, right there and then from there work it from this side let me let me show you let me take this out and let me take this out and this is how the vocal sounds like god will change your god will change oh the vocal doesn't really sound good it sounds too dry and you want to get that warmth you want to get that that fuller sound so um watch what is going to happen my 
reverb is really really like increased this side and the room size is 84 percent that's too much but that's not too much because i have sense this is where it allows me to push to put much reverb or a little bit of reverb and delay this is why the scenes are there don't make a mistake by getting your your throwing your reverb in the uh, mono tracks or your audio tracks don't make that mistake because you won't have a uh, control of how much volume you need to give that vocal so always put it in your sense put it in your sense and then your sense will tell you will give you um, a volume control where you can increase or reduce so i have full control on my reverb from the sense i can increase it from uh the plugin and then reduce it from here what i want to get is that effect the fuller effect i'm gonna increase my reverb just a little bit to a point where i feel like okay okay right there right there don't put too much you have to uh pay attention to what your ears are telling you so here we go Rev reverb first will change god will change your god will all right a little let's go god will change your god will change right there i feel like the vocal is wider and fuller and there is that added warmth to it then i'm gonna go to the h delay and if i need to come back i'm gonna come back and increase here we go god will change your god will change your story you were meant for more god will change your god will change your story usually what i do is i usually go with reverb a uh, reverb and uh h delay reverb and any delay that you have can work so any reverb that you have you don't have to to have my kind of reverb just use the reverb that you have they all work the same cubase has a lot of delays you can use those delays in cubase so they literally work the same so what i do is i combine you combine reverb and delay they are gonna give you that warmth and that wider and fuller sound that you're looking for once again without any delay god will change your god will change your story the other reverb is for the small little little backings but the main vocal is totally uh, off delay and reverb god will change your god will change your god will change your god will change your story so you don't want to get your vocals sounding like that you want to add some excitement and some you know reverb and delay and this is with delay and reverb god will change your god will change your story suddenly the vocals sound fuller so this is a trick that a lot of uh grammy award winning producers do the they they may not tell you a lot of people tell you no don't put too much delay don't use reverb i only re i only use our delay i don't use reverb well it's a lie when you listen to their mixes how come they sound so full how how come they sound so good and when you listen to them you you you'll be able to tell there is reverb in there and there is h delay they are all controlled using sense so you control no matter how much you put from the plugin you can still uh, uh work around it using sense you can still reduce the volume using sense god will and this is how the vocal sounds like in together with the uh, instrumental god will change your god will change your story you were meant for more you see in the mix doesn't sound much but when you solo it up it sounds as if there is a lot of delay and there is a lot of uh, air, uh reverb so this is the way you achieve that uh surround sound this is the way you achieve that fuller sound and warmer this is the way you warm up your vocals i hope this video helped you don't forget to like it and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel